morning and happy Tuesday. This morning kind of went a bit wrong. I was supposed to wash my hair. I really desperately need to wash it. Um, I'm going to the hairdressers on Friday to get my extensions taken out. Um, I'm really like feeling a bit weird about it because they need to come out. They, I've got like bonded hair extensions, so it is kind of special glue stuff after a while they obviously grow down and get tangled so they do keep getting tangled a bit and i think actually a lot of it has come out so i was looking at a photo from florida when i first got them done they do feel a lot thinner than they were when i first got them put in and i think just where you brush it and the glue eventually kind of breaks down i think some of the the hair the extension hair then just comes out so i don't think it's going to be as bad as i'm imagining because i'm imagining getting them taken out and feeling like i've got no hair and going back to feeling so self-conscious um because i did lose a lot of hair i've talked about that before with my steroid treatment that i had for a year a lot of my hair fell out so that's why i had them put in in the first place anyway they do need to come out and i want to kind of take a break from them and i'll probably get them done again before i go to florida and it'll be good to see what my hair is actually like but it's such a hassle when you wash it you have to blow dry it and everything you can't just leave it um so i am ready to have a bit of a break from them anyway back to what i was saying i was supposed to get have a shower this morning and wash my hair but ian is in the office today and i've got a delivery coming from wilkinson's of some storage things that i bought i need some more storage i've been trying to tidy up around here and it's really difficult when there's nowhere to put anything so i've ordered some stuff which i'll show you when it arrives but because washing my hair is a bit of a nightmare i didn't want to be in the shower when they try and deliver something because that always happens it'll be typical i would get in the shower the door would go and then i would miss it so anyway that's that so i've just kind of straightened it but it looks a bit dodgy um so this morning is basically editing i need to edit the next cape verde vlog and then the disney vlog for saturday and last night we did go to the range i talked about that in last weekly vlog um because ian needed some stuff and i did pick up a couple of really cute things and we were in a bit of a rush because we got there just before they were closing so i definitely want to go back and have a proper look around because they had some really good things and i got this little kind of jar vase thingy so it's got a nice little doesn't want to focus it's got a little heart kind of hanging off it there and this really cute ribbon and this was hang on let me grab the receipt because this was such a good price 1.99 pound 99 i couldn't believe it i just thought this was really cute and i also bought this little sprig of flowers so i'm planning on kind of cutting one of these off to put in here and then the rest of them i will use like when i take blog post photos i'll put this kind of against a background and i think this was 2.99 if i remember yeah so i just thought you know this little vase and one of these little sprigs is such such a nice sort of decoration i couldn't believe how cheap that was and this was my favorite thing i got so it's a little box that says lotions and potions and on top of my desk i've got this kind of clear perspex box that i keep all of my stuff in and whenever i film videos i don't really like how it looks but i thought this was so much cuter and i need to put my stuff up there because i don't have anywhere else to put it but i think this is really a lot more decorative and it's actually a set of two so there's this smaller one and the bigger one so i'll probably put this on my bedside table or something and it was 8 99 which I thought was really good. It's a really nice sort of wooden or wooden boxes i should say so yeah i was really pleased with that from the range and we did nip into sainsbury's because we needed something in there and i found these little wooden hearts so you can have them on the white side or on the wooden side and i just thought when i take blog post photos again you can have like little flowers these will be really nice you just need kind of nice background stuff to make the photos look good so i was really really pleased with all of those items and for how much i paid i just thought that was so good later so it is later on now the stuff has arrived from wilkinson's the um, other thing that's back here is like the ottoman storage thing that i bought it's really heavy i wasn't expecting it to be that heavy but i haven't opened this yet so i thought we could open it together and see what i got a good job of packing this in i can't get anything out Ooh, okay let's get our box out of the way so first of all i have a couple of these 
baskets i got them in gray because i wanted one for the bedroom and one for in here so this bigger one actually is to go in the bedroom and this is to put my hair dryer my straighteners and a few other things like that that keep ending up on my desk when i don't want them there because i need my space to work um, but they don't really have a home so i figured that can all go in there so i can just grab things quickly so that's what that one's for and then this smaller one is to go under this little table and i'm hoping it's going to fit it should do because that table gets in such a mess but i do have a lot of things that i like to keep there just to grab when i'm watching tv like my nail stuff and things so that can all go in here and i know it drives ian mad having such a mess under that table so he will be pleased okay then we have this plastic box and this one is to go in the bedroom just for some extra storage because i do just have a lot of stuff that doesn't have a home and then i figure this one could sit on top of it to put the hair dryer and stuff in so that's just kind of extra storage solutions those plastic boxes aren't the most attractive thing in the world but they do the job then this smaller one is to put all my medication in yes that does seem like a big box but yes i also do have that much of it that it would probably take up most of that which is crazy and i'll also just put our other medicines we have like cold stuff and paracetamol and whatever in here as well so that can all just stay together then i got these little baskets i think there's one two three four five how many are there i can't even tell whether they're separate yeah five so five of these and these are to go on the inside of my desk cupboard there's quite a lot of room in that cupboard but everything gets all over the place so i'm going to put one of these on each shelf and actually the bottom section will probably take two of these and i can just keep everything a lot more organized because it's all jumbled up at the moment and i'm going to be doing a video on my desk organization really soon so these will be featuring in that okay, i'm just angling this down a little bit please do not judge my gross carpet it because i really do need to vacuum gosh this really is a lot heavier than i thought looks like there's some assembly required which i was not warned of you know how i am with assembling things not good so this is actually the lid of the ottoman and this is just like our bed so it matches that and it can sit at the bottom of the bed to put stuff in you can just see on the picture there so let's see if i can put it together oh okay it just pops up that's that does not require any assembly so i feel happy about that oh that's really easy oh it smells a bit weird to air that out a bit okay i'm not sure about these foldy edges but i guess the lid will be on most of the time oh oh i see that's what's folding up you've got to put this in the bottom don't do you know what it smells like the dentist you know when you walk into the dentist that smell it smells like that not a smell that i'm a fan of ottomans obviously are usually something you would like to put your feet on or sit on i would not trust sitting on this for one second um it's really just to put at the foot of the bed and it even says on the label clear up your clutter which is the exact reason i bought this so this is going to be perfect it's actually quite big i'm going to put towels in here and probably um some other clothes although i'm going to air it out because it really does smell like dentist and i'm not cool with that so i've just finished the cape verde vlog which will be up by now so you may have already seen it and the washing's back yay i think what i'm going to do is wait for that to upload and just do a couple of things i need to put up some instagram pictures and stuff like that then i will start on the disney vlog for saturday because i don't like leaving that till the end of the week because that can be a long edit so you don't want to end up in a rush because i've done that before and it is not fun then this evening ian is out so he's out at the office all day and then he is going round to a friend's for a game night directly from work so i will be here by myself so i think this evening i'm going to start figuring out all this storage and tidying up a little bit um tidying up this table and getting everything into the basket that i bought i think i will do that because it's very satisfying decluttering tidying making things neat i don't know about you let me know in the comments but i love when i've just tidied something or when things are organized um if it's not and it's messy i just feel stressed i feel like i can't think properly when i got back on off all of those vacations i kept going on one after the other and the flat was a mess it was really like stressing me out and just making me feel uncomfortable so that would be good to try and get that sorted out if i can later so i'm about to go and take a shower and wash my hair because it is gross it really needs doing and i don't think i filmed much today i really was just editing 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 all day it was 
full on obviously I stopped a couple of times I did sort out some of the storage that I bought and put stuff in it and did that but other than that I have been editing a bit longer than I planned to Becky is coming around tomorrow so you'll get to see her we are filming our Disneyland Paris trip report just kind of an overview of how all of that was and that won't be up yet no that'll be going up in a couple of days over on Disney in detail so I think that is it for today. See you in the morning. Hello and happy Wednesday. So this morning has been spent cleaning. I don't normally clean during the week. I normally do it at the weekend. Not that I don't clean at all, um, but I wouldn't normally do like big cleaning during the week. Uh, but I did this morning because it just really needed doing and Becky's coming around to film and I didn't want it to be gross when someone's coming over. So I've been doing that, getting myself ready and we are gonna be filming today, doing our Disneyland Paris trip report. So just explaining what we thought of it. Um, sorry, the kettle's boiling if you're wondering what that noise is. Um, yeah, what we thought of it, what we thought of the food, what we thought of our resort, all kinds of different things. And today is gonna be the Disneyland Paris haul going up, but you'll have seen that by now if you watch my other channel. And Ian is out this evening, so later on I can then finish the Saturday Disney vlog. So it's all go. Um, I did have a bit of a slow start this morning, just kind of getting myself ready. And I found it really hard to wake up this morning, so I must have been super tired. But yeah, that is basically today. And now that I've made my appointment to get my extensions out, I'm just really actually looking forward to getting them out. The hair, like I said before, has kind of come to its end, I think. So it's really hard to straighten and I've lost a lot of it just where you kind of brush your hair and it um, comes out. And as you can see, it's like frizzy. So Friday, I am getting that taken out and just getting my roots done and stuff. So it would be nice to have a little break from the extensions. Like I said, I do love them, um, but once they they have come to the end they're annoying they're really lovely when you first get them done but yeah when they start to sort of get a bit ratty on the ends it's just irritating especially washing them because then like brushing it is a whole thing anyway um i will see you guys in a bit and yesterday in the post i got my um, adapter so with the new iphone i've got you plug that in and then you can plug the headphones and the charger in at the same time or if I just need to use my regular headphones so I think it was really cheap so hopefully that works good and I also got my new phone case which is this one so it's got sadness on there and says just give me a few hours so <laughs> Love that um it's pink and she's really cute i love sadness so i was pleased with that it was just a cheap case but i wanted to get something on there as soon as possible and i have got um a screen protector coming as well but it's just not arrived yet so i'm keeping it in a sock until then because i'm so paranoid about getting scratches on the screen but i do absolutely love the new phone it's so good and um, the camera is amazing compared to the one i had before and it is nice that it's a little bit smaller but you still have the same size screen so i'm really pleased with it so we've just got finished filming um, oh, I've got a piece of hair on my face. Filming our Disneyland Paris uh, trip report, and I realised my top was see-through the entire time. I have never noticed that before with this top. <laughs> um, what the heck? I think I'm gonna have to wear a vest under it from now on. I don't know, <laughs> but it was see-through, wasn't it? Yeah. I was like, oh no. Not, not to your eyes though, but only to the camera. I basically covered my chest with my coffee cup and my arms the entire video and my hair. And I've just introduced Becky to the delights of the Instagram <laughs> filters. And oh my God, we were cracking up so much that Ian messaged from the other room and he was like, what is with that geezer laughing? <laughs> yeah, but it was so it. funny. Yeah, Becky's got a geezer laugh, but honestly, it was hilarious. The one where your mouth kind of just goes giant and then the more you laugh, the more it does it and it's just yeah let me see if i can show you guys which one we're talking about real quick because it is too funny so this one here <laughs> i can't even see it and i'm laughing because i know what it looks like oh my god <laughs> we basically have just been cracking up for like 15 minutes over that one filter it's so funny <laughs> Oh, it's good. Oh my and, God. Yeah, because you can't help but smile when you're looking at it, and it only activates when you smile. Yeah, so and then you just laugh brilliant. even more. It is mental. <laughs> and I've had a bit of a cold, so I'm sounding quite um, throaty anyway. Oh but my God. It's just funny. It's so really funny. funny. Becky will be thinking about that at home later and just be like. And just have to, you know, be careful at the wheel. Because you just can't unsee it. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm not sure what I vlogged today. I know it wasn't a lot because Becky and I were filming and then I was doing a load of editing. Then all of a sudden I had a message from a lady who watches my vlogs and she also works for the BBC and she was saying that they want to do a quick segment on the new Frozen 2 trailer and did I want to 
come on to Radio 5 Live and be on the radio show talking about it. And I was like, oh my gosh, because things like that, I feel like I need preparation time. And I didn't have much preparation time, but I thought, no, I'm gonna go for it, I'm gonna do it. Um, I was super nervous, and um, but it was fine. I think it was good. It was just sort of a, a five minute chat. We were just talking about, obviously the new teaser trailer has just come out today. And it is quite um, like a dark, tone to it it definitely doesn't seem like your normal um disney trailer or like the first frozen movie so we were just kind of talking about that because there's been a huge buzz on the internet about it today but a bit of the conversation did kind of go in a direction <laughs> so at one point she was talking about i mentioned moana and i was talking about you know strong female leads in disney movies um in recent ones which i think is a good thing but then it kind of drifted a little bit into you know controversial criticism with moana and things like that with disney and i was thinking oh my gosh no i'm not prepared to go in this direction so i sort of did bring the conversation back to like a positive and I think it was fine but then right at the end um she asked me about which other Disney movies should people be looking out for this year obviously Dumbo is one of the big ones and the word Dumbo just wouldn't come out so at first I was like oh oh yeah of course there's and then Dumbo just wouldn't come out of my mouth so I basically sounded like a total idiot but anyway hopefully I think she just like breezed past it and hopefully people won't remember that as <laughs> totally stupid thing that I said or didn't say as the case may be uh, but yeah I think it was fine I was super nervous and like I said I didn't have any time to prepare for it because they literally asked me to do it like a few hours ago so I was like oh gosh and I don't really listen to the radio very often so I hadn't quite appreciated maybe how many people listen to Radio 5 Live but anyway it was fine I've been assured by all my friends who listened in they thought it sounded good so that's good but now I'm kind of like oh my gosh I need a cup of tea because I've been spending the last hour freaking out about going on the radio so that has been my evening now I am just going to look at my planner figure out what I didn't get done today because there were a few things here and there that I should have done and I didn't so I need to sort that out and then I'll probably go to bed because it's already pretty late it's like 10 to midnight so I need to go to bed fairly soon so that will probably be it for today and I will see you in the morning hello and happy valentine's day I have got horror hair it's the swimming hair yes I'm going swimming I'm trying to get back into it I haven't been for the longest time because I was just away so much and so busy in between being away since like November that I just haven't been going so today I'm going for the first time I'll probably have to like ease back into it because I've got quite good at how many lengths I could do in the time that because I don't like to go for too long because I just don't have time to kind of go for ages in the middle of the day but uh yeah we will see how it goes we were thinking about going out for dinner this evening but we haven't booked anywhere and with it being valentine's day it will probably be super busy so i think we're going to get a takeaway and have a bottle of wine and ian's probably going to go and get it early-ish just to kind of beat the crazy rush because i'm sure on valentine's day it will be pretty busy so let me know in the comments if you have any valentine's day plans or if you're netflix and pjs let me know what you're up to and i've just been editing this morning i'm trying to finish a disney vlog and sometimes what happens when i edit them i'll try and do a day in two parts but i rarely have enough footage so this trip i've basically been doing like longer vlogs and each day is just one day so i've imported all the footage from this particular day when we were at universal studios and i'm going to see whether it comes out as one or two because i'll basically chop it in half if i decide to do two so that's kind of how that usually goes it depends after i've edited the whole lot how long the finished product is like if it's 50 minutes i'll put it into two 25 minute vlogs but if it was like 35 i would leave that as one if you see what i mean so that is what i've been doing so far today and ian sent me a clip from when i was on the radio last night he recorded it i haven't been able to hear it back yet because i find it really cringe i can watch my vlogs back sometimes um it depends if they're vlogs that i liked then I'll watch them back. I don't generally, like I don't spend any time watching my own vlogs because I always watch other people's. But um, sometimes if I didn't like the finished product, I'm reluctant to watch them back. And um, I feel a bit like that with the radio thing. I'm like, oh, am I gonna completely cringe? Because I feel like it was very good. But let me know if you heard it, what you thought. Right at the end of it, like I was saying last night, I can't believe that I couldn't get the word Dumbo out. I felt like such an idiot at the end, but hopefully fine okay i'm ready to go and i'm wearing these little weird flats just because i hate wearing socks to go swimming the less clothes you have to put back on the better because it's just a massive hassle and i always actually have to look down and check that i am wearing 
trousers when I leave the house because I live in pyjama bottoms to the point where sometimes I leave the flat and I'm like, am I actually dressed? I don't know. Does anyone else do that if you work from home? I'm always dressed from like the waist up, but PJs are constantly on. Anyway, let's get going. Later. Okay, I am back from swimming and I can't remember if I've vlogged since I've been back from swimming. Um, I had to get rid of the hideous swimming top knot. I just, I just couldn't do it. I had to <laughs> straighten my hair and I'm just finishing up some editing stuff. I don't know about anyone else who edits uh, videos for YouTube if there's anyone watching who does. By the time you have kind of got to the point where you're going to watch it through to be sure that it's completely right you are just you don't want to watch it anymore ever a lot of people ask me if i watch back my vlogs and if i do i have to wait quite a while because you've seen it about 15 times by the time you actually go to watch it for the final time you're like oh my gosh and if it's half an hour long you're like don't make me watch this all the way through but you have to because there could be the odd little mistake and i really can't i hate that if a video goes up with a mistake in it i just no uh, so i am going to do that and today's just gone by in a complete flash it's kind of reminded me how much more organized i need to be when i'm going swimming because although it's only maybe an hour to an hour and a half out of my day it just does make that that difference if you're having to kind of go away from what you're doing and come back so i need to just get back into that routine but i actually really enjoyed swimming it reminded me how much my body really needs it because recently i have been saying to ian i'm feeling like really numb in my body and really stiff and it always makes me panic that something's happening something's getting worse or whatever but actually i think it is just because the swimming is so good for me and i haven't done it properly since before i went to florida and that was mid-november was probably the last time i went so that's terrible so that was really enjoyable and i've just had a really positive day so it's a shame i haven't vlogged more um it's been really lovely and sunny and just getting out and doing my swimming was absolutely amazing so yes that is all good and we are getting a takeaway tonight because it's valentine's day so it's one of the few times when we can excuse ourselves for doing that not that it stops us the rest of the time <laughs> anyway and uh, we'll probably find either a series or a drama or a crime thing or something to watch on netflix and then uh, tomorrow we were considering going out for dinner because we still do want to go out for dinner the reason we're not going tonight is just because valentine's day is busy everywhere so maybe we'll do that over the weekend i think ian's away doing something on saturday and yeah feeling good i still need to do some more tidying with all of the storage things i bought from wilkinson's um some of them i've started to put things in uh, which i did the other night but i need to really crack on with that and get everything tidied up and organized properly because i can't stand messiness and disorganization and that's what i've been surrounded by for what feels like several months now so i'm gonna get on with this editing and yeah see you guys in a bit good morning and happy saturday the extensions are gone as you can see my hair looks quite a bit shorter i know it probably still looks long to you guys and it's not quite as light on the ends because um yeah the extensions were making it a lot lighter um i will be getting them done again i look really pale today i used a different foundation perhaps i need to um not use that again uh i will be getting them done again but i'm going to try and give it a break just because it's expensive and i do want them kind of longer next time because my hair before i had tm was like down to here and really thick and i loved it i really love long hair um it's fine it's, it's not like i haven't got any hair but it just feels so thin to me now um but it was quite nice it was a nightmare taking them out i will say um it really hurts um, not really hurts that's an exaggeration but it does like tug on your hair a little bit and it took ages but they didn't charge me they're amazing at the hairdressers i go to because i am going to be getting them put back in again and it did take a really long time to take them out and uh, i am having one of those mornings i was i actually wasn't going to vlog i've missed a couple of days just because i wasn't really doing much and then i went to the hairdressers and i was actually out of the house for like six hours yesterday <laughs> getting that done and getting my roots done so i just kind of was sat in a hairdresser's chair and this morning i wasn't going to vlog because i'm feeling a bit negative this morning which is not me as you know but i just kind of woke up in one of those funny moods but i thought no the vlog is a representation of a real week uh, so i still wanted to vlog 
Ian is out for the day so he went off and that was fine and I'm having a real nightmare with this eBay thing and um, the curling iron where they advertised it as genuine and it wasn't now I don't believe that they did that on purpose I think the person thought it was a real one but it's not so anyway they said return it and I'll refund you so I returned it to the address that is listed on the, the return on eBay and I sent it tracked then I couldn't find the receipt and I turned the flap upside down and it was somewhere really obvious so that was number one that really annoyed me then um i looked at the tracking and it said they tried to deliver it no one was in etc etc and the person is now saying that that's not their address and they changed it with ebay before christmas well it obviously didn't work if they thought they did because that is the address definitely that is showing on the return so that's kind of not my fault that that's happened you know they I returned it to the address that it said. So anyway, all these messages are going back and forth and it just really annoys me. I don't have patience with stuff like that and I just think, do you know what? I returned it and I need my money back. It's not my fault <laughs> if you've got the wrong address on eBay. Anyway, I'm just really not good with stuff like that. Normally Ian takes over because I just haven't got patience with it. I haven't got time to deal with it. I'm just like, why is this a thing? Why is this happening? And I should learn to be more patient, but... I just don't want to deal with it. I don't want to message back and forth with this stranger that I don't know. And I just want to send it back and get my money back. So I'm having a bit of a, a morning and I, I know that about myself, I do get like that. And I do just get annoyed when I have to deal with something that I feel like I shouldn't have to deal with. And that's probably a failing on my part. But anyway, that has been this morning. Um, and the person's saying, I think that they're going to their local sorting office to see if they can get it. That's not gonna happen. Obviously you have to go and get it from the sourcing office that it got sent to. And I think they're feeling like it's not their problem. And I know that it definitely isn't mine. So I can see this escalating into a thing, but I think you can get eBay to get involved. And from my part, I sent it back to the correct address. So I don't know, but that's been annoying me this morning. <laughs> Anyway, the rest of the day um, is vlog day today, so I need to just make sure everything is okay with the upload and then I can schedule it to go up at four. And I wanna to spend today sorting stuff out. So I bought all these new storage bits and I want to get everything put where it's gotta be. There's too many things that sort of don't have a home around here. So I wanna get all that sorted because I always feel less stressed when that's happening. Um, but I keep, oh, my hair, my hair, I don't like it. I know in a way it actually does look better because it's now in better condition and I've got rid of the extensions that really were at the end of their their life as it were so yeah it definitely feels better and feels nicer but it's just uh, i like having more hair but anyway <laughs> let's get on with the video and then i can get on with my tidying so it's much later on now and ian should be back fairly soon and then i guess we'll figure out what we're doing for dinner and stuff but i have made some progress on my kind of sorting out and tidying this plastic box that i bought has got some kind of stuff that i would take on disney trips in there and it's got all of my ears because I haven't had anywhere to put those up until now and this is only some of them the rest of them are in the owner's locker in Florida so um yeah good job I don't have them all because I'd need this entire box I think then I just have loads of this kind of stuff that I've pulled out of my desk cupboard so it's like photos and folders and files old Erin Condren planners but I need to find somewhere to like store it I don't really want that in my desk because it clutters everything up so I'm going to finish sorting this out it's one of those jobs where you start it and you're like oh I'm over it <laughs> want to do any more but I must so I need to finish this and once it's all done I will do the desk tour video that I was going to show you like how I organize my desk and everything like that I just wanted to get it completely done obviously before I make the video so yeah that's been my Saturday a fairly sort of boring quiet one and I'm just doing some other stuff behind the scenes um, of a, the project I'm working on which I still haven't told you that's for my other channel um, it's probably not as exciting as it sounds so don't get too excited <laughs> but yeah it's just something I've been doing and I've just made some more coffee because I don't want to get sleepy in the afternoons I've got the tv on in the background at the weekend if I'm not careful I could start to feel like I might take a nap and I don't really like doing that and the other thing I have to do is package up the ears that somebody won in the giveaway the purple potion ones um, somebody did win so I need to get those packaged up and sent out i have calmed down from earlier with that whole curling iron thing um, i'm just waiting to hear back from this person but if they come back with some silly response like oh will you send it to the wrong address i'll just get ebay involved because that is the address ebay gave me so if it all gets like that i will just escalate it um so that they can step in because i'm i just don't want to have like annoying back and forth with this stranger who is basically just trying to 
keep my money i think <laughs> so anyway um i will see you in a bit again it's later on now we've just had some dinner ian is back and i've been going through my old erin condren planner so this was um i think 20 2016 and i found this page where i used to track my um like followers on youtube and stuff so in the january i had zero youtube followers um, 88 followers on Instagram and then I tracked it through the whole year so by the end of the year I had 932 so it just goes to show if you're starting a YouTube channel it takes a while <laughs> to get your first uh, subscribers and don't ever get despondent because it does take quite some time to kind of get the first ones but then I've had months now where I have this many subscribers in one month so it really does um, take time to build it up, but yeah, I just thought that was so cute seeing that. And I also found a couple of photos. I found one of me and my brother, which I just thought was so cute. And I got my popple. I can't remember if these have come back into fashion at some point since the 80s. I think they did and they've gone away again, but that popple looks kind of nearly as big as I am. And I found this really cute one of me and my brother with my dad. He's obviously feeling quite strong there because he's got us both picked up and we, are well, not small at that stage, but yeah, that was on a day out to the Fleet Air Arm Museum. I remember that day actually, and I remember my green outfit. I was loving that outfit. And then I found this one, and this was in 2002, and you can see how Main Street's changed. There was all these trees um, down the side, and this was my first ever glimpse of the castle, like literally the first time I ever saw it. You can see it was raining. But yeah, that's like a crazy memory, my first ever look at Cinderella Castle. And now we are about to carry on with Mindhunter on Netflix, which we've been watching for the last couple of nights it's actually really good and by we i mean oh. me and this one ian's looking super spiffy he's had his hair cut very nice very nice and uh, you've been out all day today haven't you yes busy yeah shop running a tournament yeah ian with his net run his net runner that he plays just in case anybody's ever confused if about anyone plays net runner let me know in the <laughs> really i cool. doubt they do you but don't think so. maybe not mm. But of us. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Ian is nerds. obsessed with Netrunner. That's when he's away at the weekends, that's always where he is. Yeah. Yep. But yeah, we're enjoying this mind hunter. When is it set, did we think? Uh, I think it's in like seventies. Yeah, maybe like late seventies or something. Yeah, mid to late seventies. It's yeah. all about the FBI and when they're first figuring out how to catch like serial killers and stuff. Or even what a serial killer kind yeah, of they're not even is. Calling them serial killers yeah. at the moment, they're calling them sequence killers oh because they don't really know. but it was all around the time that charles manson and all that was going on mm -hmm. so i guess that was was that in the 70s was it 80s i don't know i don't know enough about it no it's in the past yes um but it's pretty cool mm, it is Quite good interesting it's hey good. everyone so it is monday <laughs> i didn't finish the vlog on the saturday night and we didn't vlog yesterday because i really didn't do a lot we went to the movies in the evening and we saw something called the favorite uh, which was about queen anne it was kind of weird but i think it was supposed to be weird but yeah we enjoyed that well enough and uh yeah i just wanted to end the vlog today you may notice the silk blanket i am feeling a bit under the weather today i'm fine uh but just feeling a bit kind of not great i've been working at my desk this morning but i've migrated to my comfortable chair to finish editing this vlog but then when i was editing it i got to the end and thought oh didn't actually finish so that is what i'm doing now uh, thank you as always for watching if you enjoyed this please give it a thumbs up and uh, if you're not already subscribed hit the subscribe button to make sure you don't miss any upcoming videos and be sure to head over to my victoria in detail facebook and instagram pages um, to get updates throughout the week but that is all for this vlog i hope you're all having a great day and i'll see you in the next one